Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're talking even more WWE 2K team news, this time focusing on the return of Match Creator, which this year has been reintroduced to the series as Creator Match. Now, if you've been following the coverage on the channel, then you'll already know that the feature is a fresh take on the match creator that we've seen on last gen, in which you could customise the match rules to create your own custom matches, such as an Extreme Rules Fail 4-Way Flame and Table match or First Blood within the Hell in a Cell. There were plenty of options and it all led some pretty cool match types that we otherwise wouldn't have seen in the game. The thing I want to talk about today though comes following GameSpot's article on the WWE 2K18 Dev Summit, with the article reading, Moreover, there will be many different options to play around with, including mixed gender wrestling and other options such as interactive items and win conditions which can be added in the new Creator Match feature. Now, originally reading this, this appeared to be huge news as it indicated that 2K were bringing back into gender matches, which I assume would relate to mixed tag team matches like we've seen on last gen, but with the added ability to further customise those matches using Creator Match. So this appeared to be pretty big news, especially for women's fans. However, much like the Women's My Career Mode news that was falsely reported earlier this week by Forbes, WWE Games have confirmed that the news on the return of intergender matches is also a miscommunication and that those match types will not be appearing in WWE 2K18. So that's some disappointing news as with WWE starting to feature more mixed tag team matches on TV, it's a shame that those won't transition into the game. What we can take from the article though is the note of interactive items, as I'm not entirely sure what this means, maybe tables could be classed as interactive items or letters, then again maybe this could be in regards to items like the breaker box backstage and the ability to set win conditions whereby the match ends when someone performs an OMG with it. Either way, despite 2K confirming that we won't be seeing intergender matches in 2K18, it still sounds promising having the ability to customise matches to our own liking, and of course having the added benefit of being able to save those match types so then we can quickly select them in the future instead of spending so much time setting the match up every single time we want to play it. Anyway guys, that is all for today, but let me know what you make of today's news. Are you disappointed that we won't be seeing intergender matches in 2K18? Or is it something that you're not really interested in despite WWE starting to feature more mixed tag team matches on TV? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more WWE 2K18 news, as well as smacking that bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever a new video drops. Until next time, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.